Hello everybody, welcome back. We are back, it is March for you guys, not for me. I'm actually filming this quite early on in the month of February because I want to work on a video for my second channel or my third channel depending on um, the order you rank them and those videos take so much space on my computer your girl won't be able to edit for a while or until it's done and <laughs> they take me a while to edit so we're gonna film March's TBR and I'm also like dead inside with February's TBR it's not going well you guys so I want to have fun with Marches. I, I basically know like what I'm reading in March that I got from the library. Um, but let's see which ones I need to prioritize. I already know. They're the ones from other libraries. But let's see which ones I need to prioritize. Let's see what Google tells me I need to prioritize. Because there's a couple on there that I just keep renewing. And maybe Google will be like, yo, Madison, you need to read them this month. And I'm like, okay, Google. You're right. So, let's get into it. You know how this goes. You know how it rolls. In my TBRs, I have books from the library. They have sticky notes on them with specific numbers, a random number generator. Not Google to this day because I'm using my uh, tablet and I use DuckDuckGo on here instead of Google. So, love you DuckDuckGo. Anyway, um, so we're going to use a random number generator.com and we have five and we're just going to see what it gives me. We do three and then we pull two books out of this lovely jar. So here's the, <clears throat> here's the hoping for a better reading month than February. Clink. Let's get into it. So the, I don't even know how to hold this thing. It's so <laughs> massive. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'll just, I don't have, I don't have a little cute pop socket on it, okay? I have Disney pop sockets, but I don't, oh crap, it restarted. So let's generate, if y'all, did, did I do it? Four. Okay. <laughs> did I do it? All right. Four is going to be, I know there's more than five back there, but I don't know if y'all noticed they're from February's TBR. So four is Killing Kennedy by Jack Roth. Now this is a book that is talking about the major theory. I'm not going to say conspiracy theory, but the major theory behind JFK's assassination, right? Um, and the fact that it wasn't done by Lee Harvey Oswald. So we'll see if YouTube takes this down, the fact that I just said that. But this is, yeah, this is a book that just goes to researchers, to autopsy people, to everyone under the moon you can think of who might have had some type of interaction with JFK's deceased body and talks about the, the, what they saw and how it doesn't really line up with what the, the, government wanted you to believe and it also talks about why the government would have had JFK assassinated and I was actually really excited to read this when I ordered it in November and it came in at the end of January so my interest in this has dimmed a little bit but I was still like you know what I'm excited I, I I'm actually like I really like this theory I want to read some about it and then it's told in this weird, like, interview format. So he interviews somebody, and that's the black is the question, and then he has the guy's answer. And so it's just told in, like, interview format. Maybe this would be better as an audiobook, but your yeah, girl doesn't have that. So I am kind of, like, on the fence about this, but I am only six pages into it, so I need to give it a better, like, attempt before I DNF it, or do a hard DNF, but maybe having it on my TBR will force me to read it. I will have to return it in March, so I need to at least give it a really good shot before it goes back. Alrighty, let's do number two. It's really hard for me. Is it generating? Two, okay. Now listen, I don't know how many times it generated right there because I can't see it. So two is the one we're going with. And that is Boys in the Valley by Philip Frances Fran Francesi? Francesi? I don't 
I don't know what his name is, but this is a Lord of the Flies retelling, and I actually am really happy my library got this. I saw that it, I saw it on Goodreads. Somebody gave it five stars. I was like, I'm gonna add it to my uh, one to read list because it has male main characters, and your girl is tired of girls in books. Okay, I, I want to follow some boys. Like I just, I want some male main characters in my life. I'm tired of all this strong female empowerment crap. Give me some men. Okay, give me some men. And so this is a Lord of the Flies retelling. It's supposed to be like horror. I've never read Lord of the Flies, but that's what this. It's a gothic, gory Lord of the Flies. Horror readers will be hooked by Publishers Weekly. I'm not a horror reader, so I don't know if this is going to be like baby horror, if it's going to be like super disgusting horror. I don't really know what to expect with this, but I really like the cover. I know it has male main characters and it's a Lord of the Flies retelling. And that one person on Goodreads gave it five stars. So, I'm sold. That's all I needed to know. <clears throat> Now, we have three more behind me. One of them I will need to read in March, whether or not it gets added to the TBR because of the random number generator. So, here is to hoping that Google gives me, well, not Google, calculator.net gives me a little bit of, like, just, it, gives, it gives me what I need. I need number three, okay? Three, 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 three. I can't. Eh, eh. You didn't generate. Five? I'm gonna like watch back the footage and when I was generating it like so many times and there was no doubt like a three. I bet the first freaking number I generated was probably a three. <sighs> okay, so we got Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. This book <laughs> and this author is just so hated on booktube and I've kind of like always wanted to read this book actually when it first came out I was like ooh yeah and then it got like a lot of hate because the author doesn't have like I don't know like woke opinions or I don't really know I don't really follow anything with this author or with this book all I know is that people are like obviously I'm going to donate this because the author sucks and I'm like what did, what did she do? Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick it up, give it a try. It seems like a pretty basic fantasy, like first book in a trilogy. There's a girl named Nadia who hears the whispers of the gods inside her head. There's a prince surrounded by desperate suitors and a deadly assassin. And a monster hidden behind pale, tortured eyes and a smile that cuts like a knife. So there's three characters who become entwined during a century-long war filled with sinners and saints and magic and mystery, a star-crossed romance, and threatens that threatens to tip the scales between dark and light forever. I don't really know. Um, I just, this is like one of those that I always see the library. I'm like, oh yeah, I've always kind of wanted to read that because I want to understand why people don't like this book, why they say it's not good. Do they say it's not good just because of the author or is it actually not a good book? We will find out, apparently, this month. So let me also talk about the other book I need to read, which is one of the other two here. Like, I have two other books on here. And you couldn't have given me, like, Zero Fail, which I've been trying to read since December. And you couldn't have given me the other book that I needed to read in March. So this was number three. And it is uh, Praying Like Monks, Living Like Fools by some Tyler Stratton like the barcode is literally covering his first name so this is what it is this is a short nonfiction. I actually started the first couple of pages before I checked it out last night actually um and this is just a nonfiction about um it's time to experience prayer in its purest form a vital sub sustaining powerful connection with God that is more real and alive than you could have ever imagined. In these pages, Tyler Statton, author, pastor, and U.S. National Director of the 24-7 Prayer Movement, addresses common roadblocks to prayer and gives you the confidence to come to God just as you are. So I don't really know what to expect from this, but uh, it's like a, it's really popular. I was on hold for it for a long time from a different library, and um, yeah, I just wanted to give it a try. It's really short, and it seems like it's going to be pretty easy to read so I was like why not I am trying like I'm in my nonfiction mood right now if you can't tell by the fact that so far two of these books on the TBR, Zenon Fiction, um 
I'm in my nonfiction era right now, and I just, I'm kind of picking up everything, you know? And there's some nonfiction I will not cross, but I'm picking up everything. So, now for the best part, the favorite part, the fun part. If this random number generator wasn't fun, this certainly is. It's time for the drawing out of the, the cup. Okay, yeah, we don't have a theme song or anything. So we're gonna shake it up. Let's see what we get. I don't even know if they move. Okay, oh my, oh, oh my. A lot of them flew out of here. I see a blue. I really wanna keep it, but I'm not gonna do that. I know that's not good. Okay, so where did that one go? Okay. We're gonna say that the one that just fell is, no we're not, no we're not, no we're not, no, 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 no. I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so scared because last month I got Atlas 6 and it put me in such a bad reading slump. It was so bad. So I am so scared for what I'm gonna pull out of this jar. Like I have, I'm having nightmares, okay? I'm having flashbacks, like PTSD war flashbacks. Okay, let's go for this one. It's green, so it's on my Kindle, and it, oh my goodness, this is like a hundred pages. Okay, sorry, hold on, let me see if I can peel it. So this is The Burn Tower by Mariana and Sergi Diagenico, you guys. So Mariana and Sergi are the authors of my <laughs> favorite book of 2022, and which is Vida Nostra. You guys can't see it, but right up there. Um, and it's actually in the jar, too, because I need to really read it to read the sequel. Anyway, and so this is a free Kindle book that you can get off Amazon. It's like 120-something pages. And this is actually really good because I've wanted to read more by them for a while. And I've also wanted to read this. I've had it on my Amazon wish list for a while, and I was like, it's literally free. Why do I not just check it out? And like, why do I not just buy it? It's zero dollars. So... I'm excited for this one, you guys. I, this is a good one. This is a good one. One good. Let's go for another good one. Okay, please, 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 please. I'm scared. I see that they're falling out. I'm ignoring them. Um, a lot of Kindles fell out, but I really want. I don't know what I want. Jar, give me what I want. I don't even know what I want, but you're gonna get it. Please be blue. I really want one of my new books. I'm sorry. Well, you know what? I could go for Atomic Reload, actually. Crap. I just see Crown Of, and I'm like, what? What has Crown Of in it? Feathers. Okay, 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 okay. That's, <laughs> that's not as terrifying as I expected. So crown of feathers as you guys can see and this is by Nikki Pal Preto if you remember January I actually got Wrath of the Dawn and then I pulled crown of feathers that's the one we have okay so we got crown of feathers by Nikki Pal Preto my only fear with this is that it is a little bit chunky and the font size in this novel is minuscule it is so tiny, so that's what I'm a, I'm a little bit scared about that, but I've owned this for a while, so actually having this on my TBR will be really good because I've owned this for too long and it's still unread, which is why I like the TBR jar, right? Because it gives me books that I've owned for a while and haven't picked up, or Kindle books that I've owned for a month and it's like, it's time, and you know what? You're right, Jar. It is time for the Burnt Tower. So, this I don't know what the Burnt Tower is about. I, I realize I never told y'all, but that's because I have no idea. I just know it's by my favorite Russian authors, so I'm expecting it to be insane. But this book is I had a sister once. I promised her the throne would not come between us. But it is a fact of life that one must be killed. One must kill or be killed, rule or be ruled. Sometimes the title of queen is given, sometimes it must be taken. Crown of Feathers is an epic fantasy about love's incredible power to save or to destroy, interspread throughout the story of Ava Clara, 
Ashfire, the last rider queen, who would rather see her empire burn than have it fall into her sister's hands. I believe it is a trilogy, so I don't really need to be starting a new series, but apparently I'm going to. Um, and yeah, I don't really know what to expect. Except Sev is in here. Sev from Harry Potter, you know? Uh, I'm just kidding. Alright, so this is the TBR if you add a hundred but we much, you know, probably about the size of this book, probably a little bit shorter, but this is a TBR, so March is bound to be interesting, um, and yeah, I hope you guys liked this, like I said earlier, I'm pre-filming this for March because I'm going to work on a video for my other channel, and those take up so much space on my computer, and they're just so much work, there's so many hours put into them, and if you want to watch my other channel, I will leave it in the description box. I have two, I have a Sims channel and this other channel, um, and there's just so much effort that goes into these videos, so I'm free, I'm free filming this, so I don't know how many videos will be up in March, because... The project is happening. Um, but I do have plans for April. So if you don't see me again until April, there's going to be several videos. Anyway, I'm going to go. So adios, au revoir, salut, hey do, goodbye. And I'll see you guys all when I see you. Bye. Mwah.